Now to a discovery that's literally out of this world. Astronomers say they found a very distant planet that could be capable of supporting life as we know it. In fact, we have an artist's rendition of the new planet. It's being nicknamed the Goldilocks planet because it is just the right size and location for life. One astronomer was quoted as saying that this news gave him goosebumps. Is that a little too geeky for you? Well, I don't know. Derek Kiss is chief astronomer of the Franklin Institute in Philadelphia and my favorite astronomer ever. Derek, thanks for joining us. Why, thank you. It's did my you get, pleasure. Get, did you get goosebumps when you heard this news? The hair stands up on the back of my <laughs> neck when I hear this. Now, how do we know that this is all real and not, again, just something to make headlines? The scientists that did this work have been doing this observation for about 11 years, and the equipment that they use for this is the best equipment on the planet. And so the factual data shows that this planet actually is right where they claim it is, at this Goldilocks position where it's just the right location for liquid water to possibly exist. Do we know anything more about the composition, the atmosphere of this planet? We can estimate from the mass of the planet that it's probably a rocky planet with a rocky surface. And because it's big enough, the size of Earth, a little bit bigger than Earth, with a little bit more mass, we know it can hold an atmosphere. So with a star of that type at that distance, with these other possibilities, if it does have an atmosphere, then water could exist as a liquid, and that then raises the possibility of life, but in a very narrow zone on the planet. Uh, the planet has been named uh, Gliza 581-G. What G. happens now, Derek? Uh, this information is out. Uh, we're now talking about it. What happens at this point? What happens now is that the astronomers that do this research continue to look at the data to see if they can refine it even more to determine better what the conditions would be on the planet. But the real thing that happens here is the door is now open for these astronomers and others to begin looking at this particular type of star for planets of this type at other locations throughout the galaxy. You know, the estimate is that probably 20% of stars around the galaxy are probably systems like this, so that raises the number of possibility for this kind of system. I knew all those years of watching Star Trek would pay off. Derek, this is outstanding. Thank you very much. Great news there. Thank you, Derek. Thank you, Derek.